we were talking about the Atlantic, how the potential opportunities for the tropical storms and hurricanes that could impact the United States. Then we'll be talking about to you guys about the severe weather outbreak with enhanced risk, where we could see a potential derecho with opportunity with a thirty percent chance of significant hit, a wind and some tornadoes could be possible. Welcome, everybody. My name is Jimmy Man, and in today, so I'm using my phone, but in today we we're talking to you guys for the weather outlook for today, which is August twenty ninth. So we're here at the GFS again, Tropical Tickets website, and we'll be showing guys the model ones with the GFS icon and the Canadian. But before we do that, we're going to look at the National Hurricane Center. This is the National Hurricane Center outlook. There are currently three waves in the investigation. When one sticks out, and I think one could potentially impact the United States or come close to the United States in the next five to ten days. That's this one. That's number one. And number one has a 50% chance of developing in the next two days and an 80% chance in the next five days. And it's really northwest, but models are hinting that it could be getting closer and potentially become a major hurricane or some sort of hurricane near the east coast. So I want you guys to be on alert and to be prepared for if this develops anywhere in the east coast. So we're looking here at the tropical tickets weather forecast and let's keep going for the weather forecast. So we'll be looking at the weather forecast just quickly just to show you guys the outlook. We're we'll looking at GFS model one, which is showing a this one right here. I'm zooming in right now so you guys can see with the time frame above. That's the one I'm zooming in because that's the one that's most important. All the other ones could develop, but it's very unlikely right now, it's very low. And this is what GFS is showing is a potential major hurricane. The only thing we could see that could have some raw model for showing that it could it's gonna move northwest and then eventually it's gonna move north east and become a fish storm. That's a possibility. We can't take it as a grain of salt because the high pressure system up north. If the high pressure system is a little bit stronger or it or I mean a little bit weaker, it could move continue to move northwest and if there's no cold front there, it could impact the United States. This one shows it's going to curve straight out to sea and not impact any land and move away. And it, I really hope this one occurs, but it's a possibility that it may not occur. So now we're going to be looking at the icon model. Very similar. We're going to be looking at this model one right here. So look, oh, it's a little early. So we're going to be looking at this model one right here. That's just 1008. It's going to strengthen a little bit. As it continues to move to northeast, becomes a tropical storm, maybe a hurricane at this point. And it's just, it looks like it's going to be impacting the United States, but we will have to wait and see how the future radar, future modes will continue. All we need to know is there'll be possibly a hurricane developing off the east coast, just north of Puerto Rico in this region. But we just got to wait and see what the model are going to be hinting at as we continue. Now we're going to look at the Canadian model, another model that's also in that it could be a tropical storm or hurricane that can be developed. But we're going to see how it is. So playing it out right now, currently it's in a 999, again, in strong tropical storm, maybe you know, a hurricane at this point. And it'll continue, this one's a little more southward track, and it's looking like it's becoming a potential major hurricane before it makes the right hand turn and go off sea. But I don't want you guys to not pay attention because this could not take the right hand turn. And if it's a little bit stronger and high pressure system is not as strong, it could still steer left and impact the United States. So by many of you in the East Coast, I would be on alert. Not time to prepare and freak out, just know that there's a potential hurricane a first hurricane that could impact the United States potentially. And the time frame I would pay attention from September 5th to September 10th. That's the time frame depending on how far south and how far north it could be near the United States. Even if it's not near the United States, if it's like one of these fish storms or storm that goes out to sea, it could bring some potentially some heavy rain, but more importantly, some, some uh, rough surf seas. So if you're going to be in be, be prepared for, for some potential recurrence at the very least. So we're going to be looking at the National Hurricane Center because there's a 
potential major severe weather outbreak happening today. I would have gone live, but I'm, I had other things to do, but a major severe weather outbreak for the entire northern Illinois, east Iowa, and northwest Indiana, pretty much from I-80, I-80, I-88 northward to the Wisconsin border. So when we look, cities that will be impacted, Chicago, Peoria, Galesburg, and Davenport, pretty much the same place, northern Illinois, could be seeing some very gusty winds. It might be two waves, might be one wave, we'll have to see. I won't, there's a hint that it might be upgraded to a modern risk, but I'm recording very early because I have a lot of things to do and I want to make sure that you guys see this video and be safe here in northern Illinois. Could we become a potential derecho again? There's a 30% chance of 70 miles per hour wind, but in the enhanced risk, you have a greater chance of 80, 75 to 80 miles per hour wind. But anywhere, even as far south as St. Louis, I would be on a lot, even Indiana Plus. I'll be prepared. If you have anything outside, put it inside. It's going to be very, very dangerous today. Storms are going to develop rapidly and be very intense. Large hail. There's not much of a hail threat, not much of a tornado threat. 2%, but it doesn't, I mean, these storms are going to be producing tornado-like winds, like 70, 80, potentially 90 miles per hour. So you don't need a tornado to touch that. It could, it could, it could, it could uh, produce tornado-like damage anywhere across Northern Illinois. So if you're in Northern Illinois, be prepared for some very bad, nasty storms. Enhanced risk. Yesterday it was slight risk with a lot of gusty winds, but liver damage in northwest Illinois, including a couple tornado warnings. And now let's show you guys the radar. We'll be looking at a couple radar models right now. The timing is just above you, so you can see this is currently this could be at 6 p.m. Now we're going to, I'll hit you guys. A lot of storms may develop as early as noon, east Illinois, into Indiana. I don't know about Ohio, but this could develop. We'll continue to watch Indiana get some thunderstorms. That's not the main event. A little bit of potential thunderstorms develop, and I'm worried about this one right now. I don't want 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. I think about 4 or 5 o'clock, it's going to develop. I think this is a little bit more east. I think it will develop near the Quad Cities, near Davenport. Uh, it's a little bit more east, but we'll have to see if this develops. You're going to see some very heavy wind. Big damage, I think, all across Chicago and area. And it will move into Peoria, northwest Indiana, places like Lafayette, Gary, even this model, even just some near Galesburg, Peoria. All you guys will see some very gusty winds and heavy rainfall. It's going to be a day to be prepared, happy weather alerts. If you have a severe thunderstorm warning, don't take it lightly. Just thinking, that, oh, it's not going to be anything. It might be some 40, 50 miles per hour wind. No, you're going to see any storm that develops. Will produce 75 to 80 miles per hour. You guys remember the derecho last year in Iowa a couple years ago? That's what, what I'm really, really worried about. Here's quickly to show you guys the precip. A lot of heavy rainfall. If you can, this could easily produce one inch per hour, maybe two inches per hour. Heavy so now we're going to be looking at another model one right now. We're going to be looking at the latest HRRR radar. I just want to see what HRRR this is. This is 11. Z, this is brand new data that came out for H of R. See some storms may develop. This was a little different. This journey thing in Indiana, which is, if this occurs, this is more concerning because the yeah, may become more prime for producing large thunderstorms. And I think the timing is from four o'clock. At four o'clock, it should develop. This is two o'clock. This is three o'clock. You can see four o'clock, but Davenport into Galesburg, and it just explodes at five o'clock so all the way. From I-88 to I-80, I think that would be the sweet spot for big thunderstorms. This is near Naperville, near, near Chicago by around uh, 6 p.m. And it just gets worse and worse as we move down south into Peoria. And it will make its way towards Indiana Polis, So, And then some, maybe some rain fall behind. But overall, it looks, this final one looks really, really bad. You don't see the h approach show that and if you underneath any of these rainfalls expect some very heavy rain maybe two inches of rain per hour but at most 
be prepared for 60 to 70, 6 to 70 plus miles per hour. So we look at cut mode. One, this is older model one. This is the 12, this is the zero Z. So it, and we'll see how it produces right now. It shows some storms maybe developing on one, one o'clock, two o'clock up north. And we'll just gotta wait and see what it shows later on today. And it does show the derecho also developing near Galesburg and Peoria, but this one's a little bit later. But overall, I think the time frame, the best time frame to predict is from, I think overall from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. all across northern Illinois, eastern Iowa, from Davenport to Chicago, down to Peoria, Galesburg, even into, even into Indianapolis, I'll be prepared and if depending on my schedule, I might upload another video later on today before the event starting to let you guys know how what the update is for the storm prediction. So it's a day to be weather prepared, everybody. I'll be there to keep you guys safe. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, everybody. If you're in Northern Illinois, and if you're everywhere else, enjoy the rest of the day. I'll see you guys for another video. I'm Mike and Peter Flew.